Well, if, uh, let me segue. Now that you you got the you got the job and and you know you've been there for a few months, and that's the kind of I guess the way I phrase this next question <laughs> is apply for people who've been at jobs at this mm-hmm. time. How do you ask for a raise <laughs> during this COVID nineteen <laughs> pandemic? How do you go in to your boss? <laughs> <laughs> or your boss's boss, whoever it is, and say, hey, I need more money. Wow. You are really hitting me I with do. a hard question. <laughs> you are really hitting me with the hard questions today, Jarvis. I, I, so, okay, so I did a lot of research to try to figure out the best way to ask this, answer this question. And um, I actually, so part of what I do is I used to be a journalist. So I actually decided to put my journalism hat back on um, now running this business. So a part of one of the things that I do is I actually have partnered with a local news organization here. And I talk to recruiters on a regular basis and ask them questions like what you've asked, right? Um, So here's the interesting, some of the interesting things I want you to think about as you go and ask your, your, your boss for a raise. So this is a time we are officially in a recession to where job comp, uh, companies have to cut jobs from their roster. Um, they have to shrink their budgets to make sure they're still meeting some of their profit goals. Um, and um, sometimes they have one person doing the job of two people. So mm-hmm. with that being said, Um, one of the things that I would say before you just go and ask for a raise, make a checklist for yourself, right? Because the first thing is, I don't care what job market we're in, you should always know your worth. You should always know and feel like you're valuable. And you should never take that away. You should never take your skills away from you just because we are in a difficult market right now. So I, I will tell that to everyone and anyone because a lot of times, when I write resumes for people, I'm definitely going off track, but hold on, I'm getting somewhere. Oh, um, the, <laughs> the first thing they say, they'll, they'll diminish their own job skills. I've had so many people, I say, so, so tell me about your management skills. Oh, I didn't do nothing but, nothing but you're already diminishing your job skills. So one, take a pen and paper and, uh, and assess currently what you are doing within that job role um, to know your worth. Okay, but now you're going to ask for a raise in a difficult time. Next is, if there are any things within that, that role that you're doing or supposed to be doing that you're lacking, go ahead and get, um, there's so many resources right now available. Um, so those skill gaps that you may have, fill those in. Um, so if you may, if that role may call for you to know how to do Adobe InDesign or, you know, Adobe Premiere, if they call for that, go and get that training. Add that to the list. Um, if, you know, there are things that you know you need to work on, maybe you turn in things a day after deadline. Start, turning, start figuring out ways to turn those things in early. And then once you have that checklist together, once you've kind of done some of those things that you know that will make, you know, will basically make it hard to tell them no, then if you feel like you need to have that conversation about more money, go to them and have that conversation. But first, you definitely need to take a checklist of yourself. It can be done. You can ask these questions. Um, they are hard questions, but you know, definitely you want to make sure that you are filling in everything you need, checking off everything that's on, on your end that you are supposed to be doing or should have done within that role. And then that way that gives you a, a stronger ground to stand on, to be able to, you know, say, okay, um, it's, this is my review time. Um, <laughs> will I be able to get a raise as if the last time? That's not, that's not a bad question, but you know, it is a question that you can ask your employer. Well, one thing too, before I jump into, you start, start talking about resumes, Mm-hmm. is do you want to make sure that you're in the office? Because there's a lot of people that's working <laughs> remotely. And one thing I like I always tell some of my friends is that, you know, make sure that if the quicker you can get to your job, your physical job, <laughs> if, you know, I'm not no, no, no what they call crystal ball, but uh-huh. looking at you every day, they're more likely to keep you. 
Uh-huh. Where is you working from home? You know, that's I, I, that's funny, and that's a funny, um, that's an interesting uh, thought process. I've never thought about it like that. I think um, there are. So here's the thing: don't let them feel like you're at home. So let me make that make sense. Okay. So if you know, right now I do. I'm at home clearly, and I have a ten year old. Is she running behind me like while I'm in the middle of a Zoom call? No, she isn't. Um, you know, have I taken care of everything that I needed to take care of before a formal meeting? Absolutely. That way, so what I'm saying is, if you get all of your work done, if you um, do everything that you need to do, if you, you know, um, when, they, when they send emails, if you can answer them back, Within the time frame, they expect you to answer emails back, like you were in the office. Then there would be no reason for them to necessarily um, put you on the chopping block. You are working hard. You are showing your worth. You are showing your value, regardless of the fact that you're at home. Now, is everything I said hard to do? Absolutely. <laughs> we are human beings, but. Um, you know, there are, you know, different ways you can figure out discipline. Um, if you're definitely working at home with your children, you may need to wake up earlier before them to get your day started because it, it, it can be very hard once they, you know, get up. It's, and, and now, you know, we went from feeding our children, <laughs> you know, maybe at dinner time sometimes to now three times a day. We, you know, we're the chef cooks and the, you know, every, we're everything. So it, it definitely doesn't come without its challenges. But if you can figure out a way to continue to make yourself valuable, there shouldn't be a reason why you couldn't ask for that raise that you deserve during a pandemic. And remember, the main thing that you must always make sure you understand about yourself is know your self-worth. Know your self-worth. That is the main thing. And if you feel like you are worth um, more than what you're making, there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to ask that question. Also, again, and, and, and with, the, with what I was saying with the skill gaps, if, if your skill set is in demand, when you're talking to them about a raise, make sure you highlight that. Make sure you say, oh, remember um, Adobe Premiere? Um, I went and got that training. Um, that's in high demand right now. I know you need more people to do those things. Just, you know, be able to talk to them in a way that shows your worth and your value and see what they say. <laughs> they may still say no, but at least you asked the question. At least you gave it your all. If that's something you're definitely interested in, do- in doing during this time. All right. Do you know what's happening in Birmingham? Find out now with the all new What's Happening Birmingham app. Download today on Android, iPhone, and iPad for free. Get info on everything you need to know about local news, events, businesses, restaurants, and more. Visit our website, whatshappeningbirmingham.com, follow us on Twitter at HappeningBham, or call us at 205-538-4508. Download the What's Happening Birmingham app today. What's Happening Birmingham, your source for everything Birmingham.